Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to finally be sharing my Europe puzzle haul with you. So the majority of these puzzles have been traveling all around the world in a shipping container, um, and the other day they finally arrived after about four and a half months, so a little bit longer than I was expecting, but I'm just glad they all made it to me in the end. I also want to give a big thank you and shout out to my friend Tomek. Uh, you can find him over on Instagram under the Jigsaw Journal. I'll pop his details on the screen. Uh, he is passionate about puzzles like I am and creates really beautiful puzzle content. So if you're not already following him, definitely go check him out and give him a follow. But uh, yeah, I have to say a big thank you because without Tomek's help, uh, not only would I not have been able to fit so many puzzles into these shipping boxes, he was fantastic at tetrising these and getting as many puzzles as we could fit into two boxes but also just communicating in Polish to the staff at the post office there because a lot of them didn't speak English so he really helped with the communication side of things as well so thank you so much Tomek without your help I literally would not have been able to get all these wonderful puzzles back to Australia. So speaking of wonderful puzzles, I have quite the mix here. There's so many fun designs to go through. There's lots of different brands, including brands that I've never tried before that are really hard to get in Australia or you can't get them here. So I'm excited about those. Uh, there's like wooden puzzles, mini puzzles, your standard traditional puzzles. Um, I've got ones that were gifted to me, ones that I bought myself, and even some that were from the uh, World Championships in Spain. So. A lot of exciting puzzles to go through and without further ado, let's go through them all. Okay, so let's go through this first pile. So I've got a couple of Clementoni puzzles here. So this first one is 1000 pieces and it's part of their Novo art series. And this is the Keith Herring puzzle. I think there's actually multiple Keith Herring puzzles in this series and let's see. No, it doesn't really have a specific name. Like I don't, can't see the name of this particular artwork. Anyway, let's hold that up so you can actually see it. This one caught my eye. I've always liked Keith Herring's work. You know, if you know me and you see many of my videos, you've probably realized that I like lots of colorful, vibrant, bold sort of designs. So you can probably see why his designs definitely appeal to me. But yeah, I always think they're really fun and very happy, cheerful. And his characters always look like they're having some sort of fun dance party. So this one's no exception. But yeah, just love the bright colors and the sort of simple, bold, vibrant shapes and crazy, characters and things but yeah it looks like a lot of fun and yeah so when I saw this one I was like yes let's try it and um sort of interesting because I don't know if it's just this series of Clementoni but I like the sort of smaller box that this 1000 piece one is in so I don't know if that's a sign of uh things to come whether they're gonna put future like 1000 piece puzzles into these sort of, sort of ugh, tongue tied these sort of smaller more compact boxes I know like some brands like Cobble Hill already doing that and I believe the new release Ravensburger in sort of different smaller packaging so yeah it'd be good if we could see more like this um, but yeah either way excited to do this one and the next one is also kind of colorful um, it's a bit, bit different for me actually this is the Netflix Squid Game 500 piece puzzle from Clementoni and no it doesn't really have a name either because they also have a few Squid Game puzzles but doesn't have a specific name other than Squid Game. Um, better show you this one as well. So this one is actually pretty colorful. I'm definitely a fan of the show. Um, I don't really normally get puzzles that are sort of from movies or cartoons or pop culture, but I really like the sort of aesthetics and colors and scenery, the sort of really iconic, uh, interesting look of the sets from this series. So. Of course, when I saw it in puzzle form, I was like, oh, I have to get it. But yeah, there's something very like, I like the sort of mix of innocent and kind of dark, a bit creepy, scary, gruesome from this series where you've got this sort of these childhood games and th this set is very like childhood nostalgia, very sweet, candy-like. But then you've got these characters, which are sort of like, if you've seen the series, the kind of dark side of the show. Well, most of the show is a bit dark and twisted actually, but yeah, I kind of like this sort of combination of, you know, innocent and not innocent, I guess. But yeah, I love the colors and just the visuals are really cool. So I thought that would be a fun one as well. So next up, I've got a few from Ravensburger. Some were ones that I did in the World Championships in Spain and a couple others I just sort of uh, picked up. I think Tomek helped order them for me to 
uh, this Polish bookstore uh, Empik. It's actually like a big sort of chain in Poland and they sell like mostly books, but music, games and stuff. And you can like, they have a huge catalog of stuff on their website and then you can order to then like sort of click and collect or pick up in store. So he helped me out with ordering that. So very thankful for that. Um, but yeah, so I think this is one of those. It happened so long ago that I can barely remember. So this is from, this is Ravensburger, 500 pieces, and it's one of their round puzzles from the Circle Color series, which I really love. Um, this one is called Desserts. And yeah, it's really, ugh, hopefully you can see that. It's very pretty, definitely a me kind of puzzle. Love pretty desserts and just love, yeah, I just think cakes and desserts always look so pretty both in real life and in like illustration and photos. Um, and yeah, I think these illustrations are just really pretty and cute and I love colors and I love this so-called color series. It's definitely, I feel like they made this for me <laughs> a little bit because I love these sort of rainbow gradient kind of puzzles. But yeah, this one's got like so many cute little details. Yeah, I love, yeah, that it's sort of like a rainbow gradient going around the circle and you've got like lots of little desserts and cakes, pancakes, like strawberry, cheesecakes, jellies, breads, croissants, like different pastries, milkshakes, um, like ice cream sundaes, donuts, macarons. Yeah, all sorts of very cute little desserts. And I just think the style of illustration is very cute and whimsical. So yeah, really pretty. So I like that one. But yeah, that was on my wish list because these have been really hard to get here in Australia. Even now, I haven't really seen, I think I've seen like one place online that's had a few of these. Yeah, I was really happy to, <laughs> Get these for like a really decent price in Poland. So woohoo, go Poland. Um, and then the next one is actually, uh, yes, this one is from the World Championships. This I believe was the second stage of the individual um, competition. So yeah, the second puzzle we got to do. So as soon as they put the uh, secret like puzzle bags on the table, we could all see that it was a square shaped box and we're like, <gasps> could it be one of these circle colors? And yes, it was. And it was one that I hadn't done, but one that I wanted. So this one is also 500 pieces and it is the poke bowl. And I just really had such a fun time doing this one. It was like, almost forgot I was in a competition because I was like, get to do a puzzle that's like one of my favorite kinds of Ravensburgers. So yeah, thrilled. Um, and yeah, it was one I wanted. So I was super happy about that. And yeah, it's just, this one's, uh, yeah, also really fun and colorful, quite a different illustration style to the last one. It's almost like a little bit kind of well, it's sort of between realistic and illustration, like it's more less whimsical than the previous one. And also it's interesting that the rainbow kind of goes uh, like in to out rather than like around the circle. But yeah, this was fun. And um, when I put it together in the competition, I started from the inside out uh, and I remember this blue border being so tricky and um, I think even maybe a couple false fits like there was just yeah it's a lot easier when you've got like different details going on but yeah with the sort of blue I guess plate or platter that was quite tricky so I remember like really struggling to try and get that done um, but yeah I got there in the end and I did it within the time so I'm very pleased with that but yeah I really like this one I thought it's a really cool one as well and yeah definitely pleased to have done it in the competition and add it to my collection and then this next one is another one that Tomek helped me get from, I think, the Empik bookstore in Poland. Uh, also 500 pieces. And this one is called uh, Bonbons or Candies. And yeah, this one's really cool. I quite like this one. Again, it's quite different to the other two. I like that they sort of seem to have um, a lot of different artists throughout this range. So. Uh, they yeah all the styles are quite different throughout which is really cool so I love that this one's all these like repeating patterns and shapes kind of um yeah cute but also like very um geometric like we got all these little yeah they're kind of simple shapes so like circles and squares and lots of repeating little shapes and then each like lolly's got cute little patterns and actually I guess yeah I guess the rainbow on this one kind of goes from the middle out, but then you've got little things like the rainbow lollipops, which sort of interrupt it and little gradients throughout as well. But yeah, this one looks really pretty. Also it looks like it has a bit of a tricky border with this sort of repeating pattern. Actually the whole thing could be a bit tricky because you do have a lot of things that look 
the same but yeah it's really cute and I love the little love hearts and the cherry candies and uh, bows and things so yeah this is yeah this looks like, like a lot of fun I'm getting a bit tongue-tied I think it's the excitement from looking at all these cute puzzles all right a couple more Ravensburger ones which are actually both from the competition so this one another one I was very pleased to get this is 500 pieces and this is the uh, New York postcard Do you think I'd remember what it's called um, so this was actually the first puzzle uh, we got in my group for the individual category and when I saw it there's a bit of a story behind this one um, so one it was on my wish list so I was thrilled because I was like awesome I don't have this one I had the London postcard but I didn't have this one but I really wanted it so I love it because it's lovely and colorful um, but two um, the the others who I was like practicing with so Don Louise Jeanette from Jeanette her, and her puzzles and Vicky from Vicky Makes and Builds um, they had I think it was Don Louise had brought their copy of this and um, offered it to me to do but I just ran out of time so I was actually meant to do this like the day before the night before or the day before that and I just sort of ran out of time and there was just too much going on so <laughs> when I opened it up I was like are you kidding me the one puzzle that I like didn't practice and that's what I got but actually I end up getting my personal best for this so yeah I was really happy but yeah I really like the colors and the patterns and I like the sort of collagey style and I like the sort of mix of the black and white kind of photography with like yeah like illustrations and vintage things and the stamps yeah it's really cool so yeah and I like the London one too so yeah I really enjoyed it and it's not too difficult of a puzzle to do or well, that I found um, so yeah, I was definitely excited with <laughs> getting this. Excited and also a little annoyed at myself for not having been able to practice it, but it seemed like I didn't need to since I was pretty happy with my time anyway. But yeah, kind of a fun story and definitely glad to add this to my collection. And then the last Ravensburger. <laughs> this one was not quite as straightforward um, as the last one. So this is a 1000 piece one. And it's definitely kind of my style because it's very colorful and bright. Um, and it's just called, is it called Boston or Boston 2189? That's kind of a weird name. Well, let's just say it's called Boston 2189 by the artist Jack Ottanio. And it says the Metropolitan Pop Artist. There you go. Anyway, I will show you. This is like this very cuckoo busy very lively sort of I guess a scene of the city of Boston um, which I sort of didn't really know um, when I was kind of attempting to do this anyway this happened to be for the puzzle that Vicky and I got Vicky and I were partners or pairs for the world championships in Spain and this was our finals puzzle that we got and when we saw this we were like are you kidding like there's no way we can do this in I think we had two hours or something I think that's all we had to do this and we just we tried our best we did not finish but we still did okay <laughs> we were just happy to like do as much as we did we definitely were not close to finishing because it's just such a crazy busy puzzle with so many patterns and colors and lines and shapes going on that it just felt so impossible to sort we were trying to sort things and it was just so difficult like we did try and sort you know by colors and certain patterns as best as we could um, but we just felt like there was just so much going on and we didn't have enough table space um, so yeah it was really like quite a tricky puzzle despite it being maybe not uh, our ideal choice for our pairs final I'm still like I still really like the design I think it's really fun and I think it's really yeah really cool and funky and um, yeah, so maybe not a speed puzzling puzzle, but a fun one to have in your collection anyway, perhaps. So I've got a few more left in this pile before we get into the other couple of piles. Uh, so this one is a very big and heavy one that I found in just a random bookstore in Poland. And this is a Castellan puzzle, which I believe is actually a Polish brand. Uh, I won't go searching, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they are uh, made in Poland yes yes it says so okay so I saw this and it just really caught my eye and okay this is 4,000 pieces which is not normally what I get I mean the biggest I've ever done is 2,000 pieces I do have a couple of 3,000 pieces that I'm sort of saving for I don't know when I'm feeling brave and have figured out 
how to store it and put it together because I didn't have a very big table. Um, but anyway, let's see, what is this one called? If I can find the name of it. It's part of their art collection. And oh, it's called Carnival in Rio. And I will try and put the artist's name if I find it on the screen. Um, but ugh, okay, hopefully this fits on the screen. Um, bring it back a bit in case it doesn't. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, if this is all crooked, I'll put something else. I'll put a better picture on the screen, but hopefully it's okay. Um, yeah, this really caught my eye. I just thought it was really fun. I'm not normally super into cartoon uh, images, but I really like the sort of style. This one I th thought it was a bit more my kind of thing. And I just really like the level of detail. There's so many interesting characters and like things going on in this carnival. Like it's very colorful. Yeah, it looks really fun. Ugh. Okay, this is huge. And I love the yeah giant tiger floats. There's floats, there's like weird mermaid creatures, a giant ketchup bottle, there's monkeys. There's your classic sort of like carnival lady there with like feathers and stuff. There's like, oh, I have to put this down. This is very heavy. Uh, yeah, we've got like tourists, dogs and cats chasing each other, ice creams, drones, balloons. Uh, yeah, lots of stuff. A marching band, um, drag, a dragon, like a real dragon by the looks of it, maybe. Yeah, there's lots of very interesting characters and creatures. Um, not all of them look human, so that's definitely interesting. So I just think this would be a really fun puzzle to put together. So part of the reason, I mean, apart from, I guess, physicality, logistics of having a large puzzle, like figuring out where to put it in my house and how I'm going to put it all together. A lot of the reason behind why I don't get larger piece counts is because often I'm not a big fan of the images they have. Like I don't often see um, images in larger sizes that really sort of are my style or appeal to me. But yeah, this one just really grabbed me and I'd never seen it before and I just thought it was really fun. And I felt like if you're going to spend the time putting together 4,000 pieces, I want most of those pieces to be fun and interesting. So I thought this is great. And yeah, and sort of interesting. Um, it's actually, I'll open it up. It's sort of got three, it's got the pieces in like three of these bags. So you can do it in sections, which a lot of you are probably familiar with if you've watched like, uh, like Donna Louise or Vicky do their sort of giant puzzles they've talked about and shown how the puzzles come in like multiple bags and they've sort of, they haven't numbered them, but this one's got like a green stripe and there's one that has a red stripe and the other one doesn't have a stripe. So I guess that's how you tell what bags what. Um, yeah, I don't know which part's which, but yeah, at least that kind of makes it a little less intimidating. So you can just do one section at a time and just, yeah, break it into three sections. So yeah, I think that'll be a fun thing to do. Don't know if I'll make a video out of it, maybe. Um, yeah, we'll see. So the last few puzzles in this pile I got from Sunshine Puzzles. So they're not actually Sunshine Puzzles brand, but um, the lady who runs it also stocks some other sort of small indie brands. And so she had these really cute uh, puzzles, which are, let's see, they're from Studio uh, Inkt Inktivis. I think that's how you say it. So I believe they're like a, cute little like illustrator and they did some puzzles. I think you could get them on Etsy as well, but yeah, I decided to get them through her. And since she's based, Sunshine Puzzles is based in Germany, um, I was able to have them sent to my cousin's house in Austria. So that was very handy and worked out really well. Um, so these are very cute and very my style. Um, so this, they're all 1000 pieces and they come in these like plasticky, like Ziploc bags and very, cool and different. Anyway, this one is called Let's Go Outside Puzzle. And it's got all these very cute characters. So let's see, hopefully you can, if I hold this up, you'll be able to see it okay. Hopefully it's not too shiny. If it looks, if it's too hard to see, um, I'll put a better picture up, but hopefully you can see it. But yeah, it's got really cute, uh, fun characters. It's very happy and cheerful, like all of these puzzles are. They're all just really cutesy and just very kawaii with everything has little cute little faces and there's rainbows and things. So yeah, this one's got like, oh, let's see, we've got cute little trees, mountains, sun, rainbows, some space, um, unicorns, like pandas. It's quite a few pandas, sloths, 
Um, yeah, unicorns, unicorns with glasses, cute clouds. I guess a moon cat with glasses. <laughs> Like, yeah, it's really cute. Um, so I just thought these, like, there were four from this artist, and I just thought they were really good fun. And, yeah, when I was able to get them, I jumped at the chance because, I don't know, how could I not add these super cute puzzles to my collection? So, yeah, really pleased to get hold of this. And, yeah, kind of interesting that it comes in this bag. It actually meant it was easier to package, like, Tetris style in the uh, shipping box, so that was good. Um, yeah, I guess the only thing is I don't think it comes with a poster, so you are sort of relying on like this image on the back which uh, it's okay it's not like maybe it could be bigger like it'd be cool if there was a poster but it's okay we'll see how we go i can i can see it okay it's pretty the design's pretty bold and colorful so that's all right but yeah i think this will be a lot of fun and then another one from the same artist and series it's called i want a pink pool puzzle also 1000 pieces and yeah it's sort of got more of the same very uh, let's see if we can see that cutesy characters basically looking like they're having a fun pool party and we've got more pandas and sloths and rainbow unicorns and yeah all sorts of fun cute little characters um <laughs> like uh don't lots of cute pool floaties as well like a donut one a rubber ducky a flamingo of course yeah it's really cute it's even a little koala in a pink tree up there it's very cute so yeah i think these will be a lot of fun just because like every time I look at this, I notice more and more cute details. So I think as you put it together, you're going to like discover more and more funny things. So yeah, really cute. And then this next one is again, very colorful. Um, this one's called so many cute faces puzzle, 1000 pieces. Um, and yeah, it pretty much is what it says. So I'll just hold that up. So yeah, very cute. Uh, I guess a lot of the same sort of characters from the other puzzles. Um, you got like, but you got sort of extra little characters, pizzas with faces, llamas, donuts, cactus plants, uh, more pandas. What else have we got? Avocados, watermelons, narwhals. Uh, yes. Grogu from like Star Wars. Um, and I guess like a bunny dressed as Darth Vader as well. So yeah, but really cute. So too adorable, honestly. And then the last one from this pile and from the series is a little bit, I guess a little bit less colorful, but still very cute. And definitely for plant lovers. So it's called Never Enough Plants Puzzle, <laughs> 1000 pieces. And yeah, it's just a very cute, like a little greenhouse full of like cool house plants, I guess, but they're, all the pots have cute little faces. so. Yeah, it's very sweet and cute. Definitely for people who like cute things and collecting plants and things like that, or who like that sort of house plant aesthetic that seems to be very popular in a lot of puzzle designs. I, I like that sort of design or like house plants in puzzles because I'm like terrible at actually growing plants. So I have to puzzle them instead. I've got very few plants that actually stay alive. Uh, yes, spoiler alert. I don't know if you can see the one behind me, but um, it is not real. Because if it was, it would probably be dead. Anyway, um, that's it from this pile. Let's get on to the next piles. All right, so let's go through the next stack. I've got a few here from Treffle, and I've got four actually that are part of the Treffle Prime series and their Velvet Soft Touch uh, series. So if you don't know what the Velvet so Soft Touch is, um, if, you've ever, if you've ever done uh, Art and Fable puzzles or Water and Wines, you'll know what I'm talking about. But otherwise, they have a sort of very like soft kind of silicony velvety touch and the pieces have that as well and it's like if you heard that that's my cat having the zoomies and now singing opera to us or the song of her people anyway um yeah it's got this lovely like yeah sort of silicony velvety surface she's still going <laughs> and um yeah it's also like uh completely non-shiny like no glare so it's fantastic for putting your puzzle together and also taking photos anyway um so yeah treffle put out six of these 500 piece puzzles with this sort of velvet touch which is very exciting but also the designs are like quite uh different to what they normally do they're quite modern and colorful and interesting and they're more like arty whereas like a lot of treffle's puzzles are usually more traditional puzzle images so like 
uh, nature scenes or like animals or places that sort of thing so yeah when I saw these they definitely caught my eye anyway this one's called nebulous 500 pieces and uh, you can probably see why I like this one very colorful and pretty and I, yeah just a really interesting image I sort of love the combination of like pastel sort of abstract stuff going on in the background and then like this beautifully like uh, detailed illustration of the tiger and flowers and things and there's yeah lots of like kind of collage overlapping things going on and these clouds and yeah it's like really interesting quite abstract and a bit surreal but yeah I love the colors and the style very cool so I think yeah I'm excited to do this and um, yeah definitely excited that they put out these velvet touch puzzles hopefully they put out more that's Misty with the zoomies again so next we actually have another tiger design so this is also a velvet soft touch one 500 pieces from Treffle it's called Tiger's Nap and yeah it's a really sweet image um, love like the yeah the colors and just the styles quite like sweet and whimsical and just a really yeah really pretty image I really like this one and uh, yeah I like that the sort of just her this lady and I guess her pet tiger or her tiger friend are just having a nice nap after a long day of I don't know what partying in the jungle they're having a lovely nap I guess on a tree branch in the jungle and it's got all these pretty flowers and the moon and yeah really sweet I really like this design I like all the designs from this series actually they're all quite different each one's by a different artist and this one is quite different again it's called Dutch welfare state 500 pieces and very like bold and vibrant and sort of like these simple like uh, like outline of shapes and like objects and things very surreal looks a bit dreamlike but yeah very like bright and colorful and yeah sort of I like this sort of interesting simplistic pen or line drawn it's very graphic um, but yeah it's also very quirky like looks like someone's writing like a stalk or something and it's like a frog up here on the inside the mouth of like another bird and all sorts of bizarre things going on so very interesting no idea what the name means exactly but yeah pretty cool and very different to the other two uh, images and this last one that I got is quite different again this one's I guess kind of a little bit older a little bit new so this one's called quarantine moods which is quite funny and it's sort of like this um I'm gonna have to excuse my the, this puzzle in the last one the shop I got them from they put the sticky price label there and it's like left all the sticky which is a bit sad so hopefully I can figure out how to get that off but anyway this one is like quite a lovely sort of collage style image with all these like um images of I think it's all women yeah like taken from sort of like old paintings or books and things like yeah they look it looks yeah it look really pretty but they've all been sort of collaged together and yeah it's sort of interesting and it's like birds and flowers in there as well so a bit sort of vintage retro like oldie weldy yeah I know, it's quite interesting but yeah I like it I thought it was a fun one as well and yeah there are another couple of um, uh, images in this series as well um, yeah so really interested and pleased that I have those and then speaking of velvet touch there's actually another one here um, which is not from Treffle um, this is actually from Piecework Puzzles and I randomly found it I think in like a TK Maxx like on sale so I was like woohoo don't have this one so this is 1000 pieces and it's called Meta Puzzle um, so that's the front so this has like a sort of velvet soft touch as well I don't think it's actually made by the Treffle company I think it's made by someone else but same sort of feel and same with the pieces um, but you can't really see this teeny tiny image but that's okay because I think it goes this way so this is one of their older designs but I've always quite liked it where it's like a puzzle of someone doing a puzzle so yeah I don't know it's not super colorful like it it's kind of but I like their images because they're always a bit weird and quirky and a little bit surreal and yeah you know, some sort of bit weird like she's got a jar of olives and a jar of wine and she's wearing like something pretty weird and I don't even know what the image is of like of the the puzzle that she's putting together I have no idea what that's of but it's sort of interesting um, but yeah it, I thought it looked fun and of course uh, had to grab it can't help but add a piecework puzzle to my collection they always have fun images and I actually forgot to show 
Uh, the other trefoil puzzle that I have, which is not a velvet touch, we're done with the soft velvet touch. This one is an interesting one that I've never seen before and I just saw it in a random store in Poland. Um, it's 400 pieces panorama puzzle and it's just, yeah, I've like never seen this before, but actually it's got, a, it's almost the whole image on the front, but the whole image is actually on the back. Hopefully you can see it, it's a bit small. But yeah, it's very colorful. Um, turn it around so you can see the sort of bigger version. Yeah, I, I, this caught my eye. It's just really pretty. It's sort of like four little puzzles, puzzles in one, really, because you've sort of got these four sections. Well, you've got a colorful sort of parrot and flowers, like a jungle cat, this bear, and like a deer with flowers. So yeah, they're all a bit, they might all be by different artists. I'm not sure, because they all kind of look like different styles. The only thing that's really in common is like, the colors, I guess. But yeah, I thought that was interesting. And it was like $5 or $10 or something. It was really inexpensive. But that being said, the box feels a bit maybe cheaper or uh, a bit more flimsy than like their normal packaging. So maybe it's sort of like, I don't know, like made, maybe that's why it was so inexpensive. I don't know, but I just thought it looked fun and haven't really done a panoramic puzzle by Treffle. And 400 pieces is a bit of a unusual piece count for puzzles too so I don't know but seemed interesting and now we've got a few more things here so I've got a couple puzzles here from the brand it's a French brand and I don't know if this is how you say it Janod or J-A-N-O-D and they they do like kids toys and stuff but and often their products are more for like younger children or toddlers but they do have like a few puzzles that are a bit more suitable for like older kids or big kids like me, adults. <laughs> so this is, they have some really lovely images. And this one is 500 pieces. And let's see if I figure out what it's actually called. Uh, does it have a name? I don't know. Um, but, okay, I don't know what it's called, but it's by the artist Jane Newland. I'm gonna be here all day searching. Yep, I don't know what it's called. Hopefully I've figured it out and put it on the screen for you. But anyway, this is the front, but the whole image is actually on the back. Um, and it's these really cute, uh, it's just a little forest scene of these. Looks like these uh, two little raccoons have been like caught off guard by, I guess, you the viewer. They kind of look like they're looking at the camera or something, but yeah, it's a really sweet little illustration. Lovely little wildflowers and butterflies and they're on like a little tree stump with cute mushrooms and stuff and yeah it just looks cute like a sweet little image um i'm not sure i've never done anything by this brand so it'll be interesting to see what the quality is like um although one thing i've noticed is the image on the front does look a little bit like pixelated so hopefully that's just the box image and that the artwork on the pieces isn't quite as like kind of pixelated or blurry but fingers crossed we'll see um but otherwise it looks really cute and adorable and i could not resist and then I got a 1000 piece one from them, which also has tigers. We've got a bit of a tiger theme going on here. So yeah, 1000 pieces. And do you have a name? No, no, you don't. Uh, but the, actually, funnily enough, the artist is Asia Orlando, who also did one of the other tiger puzzles. I think the one with the, the nap one, the girl and the tiger having a nap in like the tree in the jungle. I think that was by the same artist as this, which kind of makes sense because this also features tigers and it has a girl in it. But anyway, yeah, here's the front. And then we've got the sort of the whole image on the back. Hopefully you can see that okay. But yeah, it's really lovely. Same style, obviously, as the other puzzle from Treffle. But yeah, really lovely colors and just a sort of bit of a like thoughtful, whimsical puzzle. And with this girl here in like a pretty dress and, and like these tigers and kind of looks peaceful and yeah, so sort of like the mix of like nature and then beautiful plants and then like sort of like a, it's a bit fantastical because it's got this girl, which is like not a normal thing. Usually people don't hang out with tigers, but yeah, it kind of it's a bit fantasy, I guess. And so is the other one. Yeah, I just thought this was a really lovely image. So yeah, I'm definitely excited to um, try out this brand and put these lovely images together and yeah, these seem, seem to be really hard to get here in Australia as well, but hopefully they might turn up sometime because they seem to have some really nice puzzle designs. So 
fingers crossed. Now I've got a bunch of interesting little puzzles here. So kind of an assortment, got some mini puzzles. So first up, here's a very, this is just a teeny tiny little one that was given out. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. Um, that was given out at the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships. Like I think this brand S Puzzles, um, which is like a Spanish puzzle brand or company was giving out these sort of like little sample mini wooden puzzles with like a discount. And so, yeah, they left a couple of different designs on our table. And so I picked up this one, which is like, uh, looks like maybe Amsterdam with all the tall kind of buildings along the canal and a, a bike, of course. So yeah, just a teeny weeny cute little puzzle. Um, and then I picked up a few mini puzzles from a shop in Barcelona, but they also gave me this cute little, their 25 anniversary puzzle, which is pretty much, I did the puzzle the other night and it's just pretty much that is the image, but it was cute. They just gave it as a little freebie. So fun little puzzle, I guess. Um, and then I found a bunch of puzzles from this German brand, which I've been eyeing off on Instagram and I've never seen, I don't think they shipped to Australia from Germany, but when I saw that this shop in Barcelona had them, I picked them up. So the brand's called, I think it's Curiosi or Curiosi. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but they have a bunch of these mini puzzles and it's called Puzzle Q Puzzle or Q Puzzle, I don't know, but they're all like kind of, they've got, they don't really have names. I think they're just numbered, but they have a bunch of these very mini, they're like little cardboard piece puzzles. Hopefully you can see that. Um, sort of shows like there's like four in this series, uh, but they're kind of like a bit optical illusion-y. Uh, so sort of, they just, these ones are just black and white. I think it's, yeah, 79 pieces. So they're just a small mini puzzle, um, but yeah, just cute little cardboard mini puzzles. So they look fun, could be a little bit challenging, even though it's a small piece count, it's still like a symmetrical image of this one. But yeah, I thought that was quirky and fun and I really, wanted to try this brand. I feel like they might do wooden puzzles as well. I'm not sure. I feel like I've seen that online or maybe they were also cardboard. Anyway, here's another design that they have. Actually, let me have a look. Oh yeah. Um, so that's fun and a bit trippy as well. And then this one as well. So hopefully you're seeing these, otherwise I'll put a close-up picture for you on the screen because I have no idea what you're seeing right now. So yeah, I thought they were fun. And then I got some from another series of theirs, which are kind of similar, a bit trippy looking, but they have a bit more color in them. And these ones are also, uh, yeah, all of those ones were 79 pieces. And then we've got this one here that's 72 pieces. Um, and yeah, it's sort of, again, like a bit of a trippy little design and black and white with pops of color in it. So it kind of, yeah, feels a bit psychedelic or a little bit 60s or something, I don't know, but also kind of modern. So yeah, it should be fun. And then this one as well, a bit more like of a floral trippy design. But yeah, I just thought they were all really cool and they weren't too expensive. And I was like, well, I haven't seen them anywhere else. So yeah, and this one's fun. It's sort of like circles and spots. So. Yeah, um, and this one's 70 pieces. So yeah, pretty cool. And then of course I saw this teeny tiny one, which is like, I guess uh, it says piccoli, which I guess in kind of means small maybe, but it's like, I think I did it and I counted it's about 33 pieces. It's a tiny little like kind of match box, mini cardboard uh, piece puzzle and all the pieces are like irregular shapes, which I'm guessing is the same for the others. I don't actually know, I haven't opened them. Um, but yeah, I thought that was like very cute. It's a nice little, so the puzzle is this little circle, kind of almost like a bit of a Celtic rainbow design there. So very teeny tiny and cute. And yeah, thought I'd take the opportunity to add them to my collection. And then the very last puzzle from this stack, we have one more stack after this and then we'll be done, um, was actually given to me by the president of the uh, World Championships in Spain. So thank you. That was very, very generous. This is actually um, a, like a little wooden puzzle. Uh, so it's by, I guess, the artist or the brand La Munda. Um, so this one is the adoration of the Magi, Magi, 
sorry, I can't, I'm not great at pronouncing things, but yet yeah, sort of like a religious painting that this is taken from. And I believe the, um, the puzzle is this round image. And oh, I forgot to mention it's 217 pieces. And yeah, I guess it's, it says 25 by 25 centimeters. So yeah, so excited to do that one as well. So that's everything from this pile. Let's move on to the last one. All right, so we're up to the last stack of puzzles and most of these are actually uh, from Unidragon. There's a couple of other things here too, but Unidragon very kindly gifted me a bunch of their puzzles. Uh, so for the year 2023, I was one of their ambassadors. Although I think I was the only Australian ambassador, which unfortunately meant some of, or well, quite a lot of the new releases weren't available to Australia. So they couldn't actually ship them to me. They were only sort of available, I think in US and Europe. Um, but once they found out I was coming to Europe, uh, we figured something out where I was able to pick out a bunch of the recent releases that I sort of uh, missed out on and I got them shipped to my cousin in Austria. So that worked out really well. And yeah, really grateful that I was able to get a hold of these, especially because uh, most of them you still can't get in Australia. I'm hoping they'll release some because there's some really fun puzzles here. So anyway, enough of the waffling, let's go through them. So this is one of my favorite designs for last year. It's a uh, round mandala puzzle. It's called Conscious Love and this is their medium sized one. And yeah, it's just this beautiful like ornate. Uh, these are all wooden puzzles, by the way. I didn't, didn't say that, but I just assumed everyone knew Unidragon. But if you don't know, they make uh, really gorgeous wooden puzzles, which have all like sort of interesting irregular piece shapes. And they always have like, well, most of their puzzles have little whimsy shapes, like shaped pieces that relate to the theme. I don't know if this one does or if this one's just all like irregular shapes, but like just say you have a cat puzzle, the puzzle pieces will have irregular shapes plus little cat image shapes, which so they call them whimsy pieces. So that's very cool and cute. Um, but yeah, they put out this lovely round mandala one and their puzzles usually come in a, a range of different sizes. Um, this one's like what, 25 centimeter diameter. But yeah, this one is just really beautiful. Um, and I believe like, I don't know if you can tell, but the love heart's got a bit of like UV sort of gloss. Um, it's not just matte. And I believe the pieces of this one have that sort of lovely glossy finish to make it feel a bit sort of more, a bit more special. But yeah, I love the vibrant colors, the beautiful like pinky reds and purples and all these lovely swirly designs. Very, very beautiful. Um, and I like this packaging actually. They've put like the lovely sort of pattern around the edge too. Normally they sort of don't do that. Normally the whole box is just sort of the brown wood, but yeah, really nice. And then all the details on the back. So yeah, really lovely. And then what else? Okay, we've got lots of these cute little puzzles. So they wanted me to try out one of these ones. They're not normally for my sort of uh, age range because this is for like little kids. It's only 30 pieces and it's part of their bubbles collection. And this one's called Parrot and it's 25 centimeters. It's like large pieces that make up this sort of circular puzzle with this really adorable uh, parrot. But yeah, they have a whole range of these bubbles, puzzles of cute, like really cutesy animals and birds and stuff. But I thought the parrot looked really adorable. And yeah, they're called bubbles because it's like they're in a little, like in a giant bubble with other little bubbles around. But yeah, really adorable. <laughs> such, such cute like eyes and yeah, it's really sweet. So. They let me pick whichever one I wanted and I thought this one was really cute. They did have a cat one too. And that was a hard decision between the parrot and the cat, but I thought the parrot was very cute and I liked the colors. So yeah, very sweet. And then we've got this one here. Um, so there's a, I think there's four in this series and I think they joined together actually, if you have all four, but I picked this one cause it was my, my favorite design. It's called, um, Neon Geometry Brain Teaser with Unique Shaped Pieces. This is 100 pieces. So it's a sort of small puzzle. Although it says two to three hours because it's um, all like geometric shaped pieces. There's no like whimsy pieces in this one. So it's a bit of a like, um, like a challenge puzzle, even though it's only 100 pieces. So it's meant to be quite tricky to put together. Um, but yeah, they have three others in this range that all have sort of abstract geometric kind of neon designs. But yeah, I liked this one. Very sort of cyberpunky uh, feel to it. But yeah, I like the colors. Even though it is quite sort of a dark design, it's still, it's really cool. 
So I sort of like the pops of yeah, neon coming through and the design looks really cool. So yeah, quite different to um, other stuff that they've done before. So yeah, interested to try that. And then this one, uh, I actually have posted on Instagram because uh, this is one of the ones I was able to um, bring home or fit in the suitcase basically. So this one's 200 pieces and it's Blooming, Boo Blooming Bouquet, um, part of their flora series. I had like two different uh, flower bouquets you could choose from and I picked this one. I just really like the colors and it's a shaped puzzle and has lovely little flower shaped whimsy pieces in it and yeah it's just a really pretty image you know great for anyone who loves flowers or like a would make like a really lovely sort of you know mother's day gift or or any you know anyone who likes flowers really i mean i like it i think it's really pretty so yeah just a lovely image and then this one was actually not gifted to me by unidragon but was gifted to me by a family member and i just thought it was really uh, fun and cute. This one is a, it's just called uh, Guarding, Dra hello my name is Guarding Dragon and it's their small size with 97 pieces and yeah just a sort of classic dragon sitting on its sort of a hoard of gold and yeah it's really cute like a sort of typical I guess European style fantasy dragon and yeah I think that's a really fun one. I don't I have quite a few in dragon puzzles but I definitely didn't have this design so yeah, nice to add this onto my collection and yeah, and thank you to my uh, cousin who gifted me this one. Yeah, it's really lovely. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that one and I'm guessing it'll have like cute dragon whimsies in here. So that'll be fun. And then what else? Okay, so this one I, these are all like sort of um, shrink wrapped by the way, but I feel like I maybe shouldn't have opened this one. So this one is called I think it's like a one-off one. It's just called Birdie and it's 100 pieces. And so it comes like flat packed like this, but I don't know if I can matter. I don't know if you see this. Ugh, if I take this off, so it's got little instructions to turn it into a box to then store this layer here, which, ooh, so it's, there is actually a puzzle in here, which is this layer here, which is kind of glossy and it has all like a little irregular piece shapes. Don't know if there's any whimsies. But yeah, I can't really turn it, <laughs> otherwise it might all fall. So hopefully you can see that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so once you've like done your puzzle, the idea is that it would turn into like these like pieces here. This flat pack would actually turn into like a box similar to these. Why they didn't actually just make it into a box like this, I don't know. I mean, I guess actually it saves on, they can like set, you know, package or send out a lot more puzzles when they're flat packed but um yeah i don't know they maybe it's a bit of an experiment seeing if they can flat pack puzzles going forward i don't know but like this one's only 100 pieces as well so same piece size but it's comes already assembled in like the box is already assembled with the pieces loose in it so i don't know interesting don't know what the thought process is behind it but yeah sort of different and interesting but either way i really like the bird image on it. It's very pretty and uh, quite different. So yeah, excited to, I guess, assemble this at some point and make a little box and do the actual bird puzzle as well. So I'll put that there and try not to drop it. And then um, this one was really quite a fun one. So this is 250 pieces. It's called Critty Cat. So I guess like critical cat. And it was part of the oh, pop art series. So it's part of this pop art series which had um, like three, I think there were three, like it might have been a dog, cat and a rabbit or something like that, or maybe I'm getting confused with another series. But anyway, it's very like neon pop art, colorful, um, and it's a cat. So of course I chose the cat one and I like it's very hipster glasses and um, yeah, it looks very hip and I like the kind of, yeah, pink glasses frames and the rainbow fur and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty kind of weird and quirky, but it's a cat puzzle. It's cool, it looks fun. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this one as well. And then we have another kind of flat pack uh, puzzle here from them, which I'm quite excited. This one kind of makes a bit more sense why it's flat pack. So this is the, they've done a few flat pack ones, like model kits. So this, yeah, so this is more a model kit rather than a puzzle. It's sort of a puzzle, but this is their Unima 
part of their uni models range um, and they had like some model cars, like wooden model cars that they put out, but this is the Unima camera, which is 105 pieces. And I just thought this was really cool because I'm not really that into cars. So I, when they asked me which one of these I wanted, I was like, oh, let's do the camera because it looks really cool. But yeah, it's like really interesting. And it has like a little wooden roll of film. So on the back, it sort of got, shows you some of the assembly instructions. I think there's more instructions inside as well but yeah it's really interesting it all just snaps together i don't think you need any glue at all but yeah i thought that's like a really fun model to do so definitely excited to do this one it's quite heavy too so yeah it'll be interesting and i sort of it's interesting to see uni dragon branching out from just puzzles to like more likely sort of flat pack model kits and stuff so yeah kind of cool like uh, yeah interesting i haven't really seen other any other wooden puzzle companies doing anything like that so yeah kind of cool cool to see where it's all going and then okay the last one from uni dragon my hands are a bit dusty now it's the problem with wooden puzzles you get like that sort of wooden puzzle dust okay this one's really heavy this is a both a game and a puzzle so this is like part two this is quezzle um and it's like there was a quezzle series of four puzzles last year where they um, each was 250 pieces and then they would all come together as a 1000 piece puzzle if you collected all four and each section had its own little like riddles and um, things to like like search and f uh, find and riddles to solve and things like that you had to sort of there was a bit of a story of like a kidnapped princess and all this stuff so you had to find out what was happening to the princess and find like solve the mystery and capture the bad guy anyway so this long story short um is like essentially the sequel to that and it's called space adventure and they just did it as one big giant i think it's 1000 pieces right oh it's very heavy so um yeah glad i didn't have to pay for shipping for this yet 1000 pieces so instead of doing four segments you just buy this one giant box which i haven't put together yet because i'm slightly intimidated by it but it looks really cool and um, it's got games within it from my understanding. And even like the box itself, it's got, see how it's got these little round things of spaceships. They're actually like the first step of solving this whole game riddle. Like apparently they're locks and you have to like, cause they've got little letters around it. You have to solve the, you have to unlock them in a special way to open the actual box. It's like, I guess got like a bit of a secret code lock mechanism on it so that's pretty cool so yeah kind of cool that they've like put that into the packaging and then yeah i guess inside there's all um the puzzle to assemble plus i forgot to mention the previous quezzle had like little figurines to put together like they had extra puzzle pieces which made like little characters so there's probably stuff like that in here as well so yeah there's like a lot to literally unpack in this so be interesting i'm kind of tempted to like maybe get my husband to play this with me and see if we can like put it together. Cause it's, I think a bit of an undertaking and probably more fun with like more than one person, especially if it has like gaming elements in it. So that's it for Uni Dragon. I do have two more little things here, which were gifted to me by a family member. So these are not exactly puzzles, but I guess technically some of Uni Dragon stuff is not puzzles. It's more like things to assemble or model kits. And I guess these are too. So I've got this thing called, it's by Row Life and it's called Dark Castle Secret Garden. This is what the front looks like. And I think it's just like a little display because on the back it's got four, like four, four shows you the four in the collection. Um, and it even actually says like it requires two batteries. So I believe it sort of lights up. Um, but yeah, I guess I've got the cute little one with a ghost and a cat and like the spooky ooky one, which looks really cute. So I'm not exactly sure what it is. I guess it's like a, just a little cute 3D display thing that lights up. So that'll be interesting. I've never like done anything like this before. I normally just do puzzles and Lego, that sort of thing. But yeah, I'm definitely up for trying out something like this. So yeah, it was really nice of my uh, family member to gift me this. And yeah, I think it'll be a cute uh, like little thing to put together. I definitely like spooky things like this especially when they're cute and they have cats and then they gave me um another like sort of model kit as well um this one's called mechanical music box starry night 
Um, and yeah, it's sort of like an astrological kind of uh, like wooden music box kit. So I think it comes with batteries or you've got to put batteries in as well. And so I think it actually does music, uh, does like sound because it says on the back here, music and memory from cats, which is kind of cool. So yeah, and on the back, you've got like some others in the, the series as well. But yeah, I've never built anything like this either. So I don't know if you need glue or it says self-assembly gear drive. Um, yeah, so I don't know if you need to glue it or if it just snaps together like the Unidragon stuff. But yeah, so this is like pretty nifty and cool. like a, And cool that it's a music box as well. So yeah, pretty awesome. So yeah, definitely interested to pop this one together sometime. I don't know when I'm gonna get time to do all these, but um, one day, but yeah, really cool. So that is everything that I got from Europe. So I definitely managed to get quite a lot of puzzles while I was in Europe, although it did take a while for, for some of them to get to Australia. It's definitely worth it in the end because it was a bit like Christmas day, opening up these shipping boxes and sort of uh, surprising myself with all these puzzles that I'd forgotten about. So <laughs> that was fun. Um, and yeah, really pleased with the sort of range of puzzles I got. Obviously all the wooden ones from Unidragon, uh, all the like, little mini ones, lots of fun, colorful ones, velvet touch ones. And just, uh, it was exciting as well to be able to get a hold of brands that I can't really get in Australia too. So yeah, really happy with my Europe haul. So in the comments below, let me know which puzzles were your favorites and have you tried any of these brands and what do you think about them? If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.